if you have a fence or a wall around a church, just just ballpark it. How do you how high do you think that wall is? All around a church, maybe five feet. It isn't going to be a monster unless it's a graveyard, which it might be ten feet. <laughs> yeah, it'd have to be like five feet. That's kind of normal. If it's just around the outside of the church, it'd be a five foot fence, nothing bigger. Well, it's a stone, it, so it's a stone wall, and my well, then it really and, wouldn't be real tall usually. Yeah, my impression was like a stone retaining wall, like three feet or whatever. Yeah, and... like something you can do the happy days leap over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, guess, guess, <laughs> how, good... guess, guess how high this wall is. Was it 20 feet? <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> Eight to an 18 foot wall. <laughs> 16 feet. 16 foot long. That was a par- <laughs> Dude, that was the church? church of Scientology levels of paranoia. <laughs> 16 feet tall, 3 feet thick, you know. That makes no fucking sense for a I church. Have to siege that church. <laughs> that that's like we want people to get the fuck out. Our religion yeah, is only true. for the most devout. We need to go to church, get the battering ram. <laughs> Where's the catapult? <laughs> This is rougher than when uh, when everybody was in the and this was only me and Potato, but this was rougher than uh, and, and no offense, uh, Arthur. I I really hope you don't take any offense to this. Yeah. He's going to take a lot of offense to this. Yeah, maybe. Um, I, I used no to live with about. a roommate. I used to live with a roommate, and uh, everybody was 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 pretty well convinced that uh, he was in the closet, and I don't really have a problem with that. But it was just kind of. He was just kind of weird, um, and and I swear every I remember this one time where everybody just this just now reminded me about the one time everybody just laid it over him just like I can't remember what he was doing to be annoying in particular, but holy! I believe crap. that was about the time he kept loading up the meat spin website. That was that was one time, yeah. He kept yeah. laughing what? at me. Been, yes, yes. He's like, Why? oh my gosh, this is so funny because, because, he, because he was in the closet and he had like that's my, the only thing I can. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I, there was there was he this found one it time, hilarious, though. Yeah, and there was this one time where I I walked in and there was there was some pretty gay pretty gay porn going on, and so I was Dude. like, okay, I'm out of there. It was, he, but besides. You know, just taking the step back from him being of the opposite uh, gender uh, attraction, pers- uh, yeah, attraction. Um, he he was really <clears throat> the worst roommate ever. There is a story about poop uh, on the floor. There is a story about uh, how he knocked um, some books out of the window. Um, he almost knocked my lava lamp out. I can't. Remember. I have my lava. But anyway, there's this one time we were all playing Smash Brothers in there, and like everybody just laid on him, and and at the very end, a Potato just laid this one on there, and it shut everybody up. It was like, sorry, was Chris, but a really you... bad joke, or was it the one before that? You no, know, I'm getting there. Basically, uh, the like this one, like I remember Dublin. I think Dublin called him a cum dumpster, and then oh, and then, this what sucks. the fuck? And then Potato said, and then Potato said, <laughs> Potato said, oh, if no. you were a building, you would be a sperm bank, and like <laughs> was just like oh, it I was feel just, horrible that I said that. <laughs> that was that was the most. I'm that sorry. sounds like something that wouldn't come out of your mouth, Chris. <laughs> As I said, I am appalled that I actually said that. Everybody was shocked, too. Everybody. I just remember this story because, like, we told us it while we were going down to your new house and, like, with a trailer. Oh, Oh, yeah. (laughs) Ross already knows the story. Yeah, Ross knows the story. He's heard it at least twice. I I feel like I'm listening to it for the first time, but when you said that, I was like, you know, I have heard this before. Yeah. Basically, like, everybody laid on him. And I remember, so, like I said, like, he was really one of the worst roommates ever. And, and how he initially came to my room, to be in my room in the dorm, was, uh, like, one night, I'm woken up at, like, 1 or 2 in the morning, and the, uh, the RA, yeah, residential assistant, the RA had knocked on my door, and I'm, like, half asleep. 
And they open the door, and he's like, because this was just after a different roommate. Like I've been, I had been changing roommates a lot, but not because of me. Like they just people move or whatever. <laughs> I ended up staying in the same room though most times. Shut up, Arthur. And uh, <laughs> no, seriously, my first roommate, he was a he moved into an apartment. My second roommate, he moved into one of his friends' rooms in the dorm, and blah blah. blah. Um. Yeah, the the RA knocked on the door, and then, uh, like, I'm, like, half asleep, and he's like, hey, can you, can this guy sleep here? And I'm like, yeah, I guess, and then, I, like, I literally just walked back to my bed and fell asleep, and then eventually moved into stuff because he was changing rooms because I guess other people were, like, super being dicks to him or threatening him with a knife or something. I don't no, know. No, no, I remember what it was. Yes, I heard uh, I remember that, too. He made Someone, he would, his roommate was motioning towards him oh. with a pencil, a mechanical pencil. Oh, yeah. He and he claimed he felt threatened by it. He, But he claimed it was a steak knife at first. He did, and he changed yeah. his story that it was a mechanical pencil. <sighs> yeah. Once people then, said, oh, no, that's a mechanical <laughs> pencil, not a steak yeah. knife. And, the, yeah, he was a compulsive liar, too. Yeah. And then, like, also, at one point in time, at, like, this is this happened. I'm laying in bed. I smell something strange. This is, like, right before we're going to bed or whatever. I'm just kind of whatever, you know. And then I kind of open my eyes, and, like, right next to his bed near where he's standing is is, is poop. It's poop. And, uh... I yeah I I I can't remember the details extremely well, but I ended up, you know, I was like, "There's poop on the floor," and he's like, "Oh my god, I wonder how did that get here?" And I'm like, "I don't know." And I rolled over that basically, and then I didn't really think about it. But the, what I am convinced happened, you know, the odds of somebody run, our door was open, but the odds of somebody running into the room and then. Pooping while I was in the bed, that just the, all the odds of that are so low. I'm convinced that something fell out of his pajamas because I remember he was wearing like you know pajama pants and a shirt or whatever as he was standing. I'm I'm, I'm not I don't even know. gonna ask. But, yeah, I know. I don't. I don't just, know. I, I'm guessing he had farted sometime and it just fell. Um, let's, let's just. Get on with the game. <laughs> also, Ross, if you don't put this part on the internet, <laughs> yeah, whatever, I don't care. Uh, Dude, I, the stream's been on this whole yeah, time. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Whatever, <laughs> dude. And I remember I go to a different room. And I'm like, I'm like, Donnie, did you poop in my room? And Ryan, did you poop? No, I did not shit in your room, Shuey. I'm like, okay, good. That sounds like him. Yeah. It was. It was. I think it was Ryan. But yeah, those uh, are <sighs> questionable times. Well, that is a question that you would respond strongly to regardless. You just walk with someone, did you shit in my room? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, but I just remember that one time that, that uh, Potato laid it down. And so just a second ago, you guys are like just ranting all. This reminds me of a time. It's like, this is not the Holiday Inn. You are not to leave chocolates on my pillow. Uh, we didn't. <laughs> so, all right. Anyway, I'm sorry. Uh, I can't there are, remember. There are no chocolates. I need to grab a quick snack, and then I'll be good to go. I just wouldn't listen to that story, but I'm here, <laughs> and I'm ready. So, um, I'll be on autopilot if you guys want to go ahead and do stuff. Nah, the stream is going. We'll wait. I'm good for okay. waiting. Or we, we right, can let's... talk over here, and then we'll fill you in. So you guys can all talk without his character knowing, as he suddenly went deaf. Yeah. <laughs> um. Anyway, I mean, he's he's got a space and a fire. So we, yeah, we just took care of um. We just took care of the spectator. We all magic. You, you Rube Goldberg to wait to kill him, when <laughs> you probably could have just smacked him to death with your hands. I was an out of character. I was totally like, if I had a second turn, I was going up to him. I was gonna pull out the, the dagger and stab him with it again. He would deflate it like a balloon. But uh, well, actually, he wouldn't have. But... Yeah, I got um, bucked up that fight. That you were the unlucky one who got attacked because he only got one attack. 
But anyway. How does 27 damage hit you? Uh, really hard. <laughs> really, really hard. Really, really hard. I was actually wondering if that would knock you down because I couldn't remember how much health you had. I have 32. At the time, I had 29. Hmm. Needless, needless to say, it hurt. His attack does exactly 3d10 damage. Yeah, you just got a little unlucky. Anyway, so basically, we all magicked up on the fire, right? Uh, everybody prob stuck, up, stuck about everything but themselves in the fire, yes. Alright, what happens if you stick your- I think- No, no, actually, uh, Zhang stuck himself in the fire. No, he didn't. No, I thought nobody, he said nobody he did. actually stuck themselves in the fire. I thought Zhang said he did. I thought that was one of the reasons why I was literally on the brazier. N no, no, I, I just put him on the brazier. Like, that. that's why I put him there. Oh, I thought he was already there since I'd been on roll no. twenty. No, no, he, he, he's. I just put him there like four days ago, five. Oh. Well, anyway. Also, uh, technically, it wasn't supposed to all of them be twelve hours, but I'm too lazy to roll that many d12s. Oh, I thought it just said twelve hours. No, it's one d12 hours, oh, okay. but I'm too lazy to roll that many dice. Awesome, twelve hours. You could just say everything is six hours. It, it won't really change either way. It won't change what you guys do. <clears throat> I hope not. I hope we can so, get this whole rest of thing on a long rest. That'd be sweet. Uh, that's it. That's up to you. The, uh, some, some of you, I guess. I mean... We took a short rest here. You took like three short rests. What? No, 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 no. In this room. No, 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 no. It's I think we're we going we were going to take a short rest, and I would, I would be talking to uh, Change Lazarus. My mind. Okay, we, I'd be we, talking to Lazarus and tell him uh, you did a good job back there, dude. And so I get to roll to add health or whatever. Ah uh, no, I'm good. Oh, okay. Yeah, like between like cleric and like me, just kind of powering through it. I'm good. Wait, so. Uh... Let's see. So Albert took the mace. Who took the breastplate? Albert. Also, also Albert. All right. 